So I have good news for everybody. You are opening up. Please wash your hands and come, Aru. Our opening for this month is your favorite opening, the Italian. What we play almost every every game that you play on. No, no. The opening for this month is Italian. So we're going to discuss the different lines in the Italian opening. First, the main line, which you have to understand. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop, and bishop c4. This is this much is the Italian opening. Now black can choose either Joko piano by putting bishop there or knight f6. Both options are fine. You can play other moves also. It's up to you. These are the two main moves. Sir, I would go for Joko piano. Yeah, bishop c5 or knight f6. Both are okay. No, Joko piano. Uh, piano. We have jokes. Okay. All right. That's uh, quite a joke. Now, after this, <laughs> after this, let's say black plays bishop to c5. So Hello, sir. Yeah. Now it's very important. Yeah, we Please be focused here, Vihan. Please focus here. Don't make noise unnecessarily. So after this, a lot of people just bring out the knight or castle or pawn d3. No. That's a the best move. They, they like to have that knight fox curve. Yeah. It's not about them attacking d4. It's that you want to control to play d4. So the best move here is c3. c3. What is the best move, Shaurya, in this position? Yes. You came and you're looking at him. You need to focus here if you want to learn something. Try to focus properly. So after c3, the ideas are in why are we playing c3? To play what? Move? Yeah, to play d4. That's why we're playing c3. Why is d4 so important, Miha? What's the advantage of playing this? Sir, if pawn takes, then we take and the bishop has to move. Huh? Uh, move. Bishop moves. And if the bishop takes. Bishop won't take, then you'll get the bishop. That's not what we're talking about. What, why is this so important? Why? What advantage does white get by playing d4? Ashwick? So the center. Yeah, you're controlling the center. That's the advantage. Right? So now, for example, black plays knight f6. You can play d4. That's the main move here. And after pawn takes, pawn takes, take you're controlling all the four squares. So now of, they can take all the these four squares. The bishop is hanging. There is no free pawn on e4. The bishop is hanging. So first black has to save the bishop. And the game goes on. We will not go deeper into that. The main line continues with bishop check. So bishop check. Bishop blocks. Takes. Takes. And white still has a very good position. But black can now play a very good move to make it equal. Equal as in position wise equal. If black does not play that move. White will have a great position. Why is it the e5? No, queen is something. Pawn e5, pawn d5, everything is great. So, castling? Castling is bad. In this position, castling is bad. Because e5? why? This, yeah, which one? No. White will play e5. Knight takes. Which knight takes? So, the knight of f6 takes the knight. Oh, sorry. So, no. I take back. No, don't blunder your pieces. Therefore, I think you are. So, there is a very important move for black. Hello, Pradeep. 550 comes across. 550? Class starts at 550. Tuesday 550, Thursday 65. Oh sir, knight is d4. That's a free piece. You you blundering your pieces away, Ashwin. No, no, no. This is the Joko Piano, your favorite opening, Italian. Ah. The opening of the month is Italian. So the best move here for black, the only move that makes this equal is d5. If you don't play d5, white pawns are going to go forward. It'll be a great position for white. So black must play d5. Because now you can't. You cannot ignore this. You have to take because the bishop is hanging. So you take, knight takes back, everything is equal. Yay! White has no center pawns. It's just one pawn. So it's okay. So for those who just came, I'll just show you what we discussed so far. Yes. Oh, you sir, when that bishop gets a check on... One thing, well, you can ask the question when you get that position. Okay. We'll revise it one time for everybody. Sir, so, you know what, sir? Today in the Games Library, I tried reading chess books. Sir, okay. first check if I use throws Sir. Okay. Uh, I think Ayur will come then. Uh. He'll be coming like a rocket now because he's late. So okay. E4, E5. So there are chess books in the library? Why not? If the library and buy chess books, chess books will be there in the library. It won't huh? be there in every library. Huh? If you are the librarian and you want books in the library based on chess, you buy the books. Then it will be there. There's no general so, rule for libraries to have chess books. Or there are chess books in the library. That I do not know. No, that's not coming true. back here. E4, E5, knight F3, knight C6, bishop to C4. This much is mandatory. 
in class games this month till here after that you're on your own you can choose any move you want the main move that so we discuss out of the book. yeah <laughs> and right now we were discussing bishop c5 and now this is a joko piano this much is italian after bishop c5 or knight f6 the position changes bishop c5 is a joko piano okay. now uh, hello one so now so my pen okay. leaked you are playing with it so much now can you keep the pen aside so i was holding the pen and it started leaking can i move you are moving it so much you are doing like this with the pen so don't lie to me so how does it make you so what do you mean you just the pen if you keep doing like of course it leaks so please please keep the pen so, away from the carpet so it's closed it's closed doesn't matter you just keep it away on that side keep, don't give it to me okay So you have to be careful. You are not focusing here. So I was. No, you are not. So something came. Out. What so happened? Ah, okay. oh, you can wash and come after he comes out. Okay. So here the main move for white is let's ask Vihan. Ah, the main move for white is ah uh, one two three. Yeah, this is very important to play. If you don't play C three and play some castle as a knight out, you won't get a good position out of the opening. So you will just get. It is. It is a bad. It's not as good as C three. If you want a good position, you have to play C three. If you want a boring, dry position with not, no advantage, you can play castles Sorry, or knight C three. All coming to the knight. We'll get there. We'll get there first. Let's revise this step properly. So after C three, Black's main move is knight F six. And now let me ask Shaurya, what is the move for White? So White can move the. Pawn to d4. Yeah, I was thinking you may not answer. So I thought okay. so. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Pawn. So pawn to d4 is what we played. That's why we played c3. Now after pawn takes, pawn takes. It looks like white has a great position because white doesn't send up. Yes. Right. But black can play. Ashwik, what should black do? Bishop to d4. Yeah. If you simply go back, position is great for white. So white most people play that only. Yeah. Then white has a great position. And uh, you have the center. You can push. You can play bishop out. You can play knight c3. You can castle. Everything is great. With the good center, everything is great. So, so black to d5. After bishop first, bishop has to be saved, na? Right. You got to so save the bishop, na? So now, play. yes. So here, now that time I told to play bishop to d2. Sir. Yeah, bishop d2. But sir, the the that's like a gecko gamble. Yeah, play. if you play knight c3, then you have to learn more. Because now black can take, so this line you have to learn properly if you are allowing. So if you are playing this. Ahan, can you keep it down on the paper? Now you need not touch it. If I see you touching it, I will reduce points for you. So how many? That we will see. Okay. So coming back here, so that we will not go deep now because that is another long line, the Greco attack, the Greco line. Let's go back. Pawn is here. So this much is clear, right? Yes. yes. Sir. This much is clear. After bishop b4, main move is bishop to d2, and after bishop takes, knight, knight takes back. Looks like white's great, but black has only one move to make d5. it equal. Arab. Uh, pawn to d5. Yeah. After d5, it's just an equal position because takes, takes, and yeah, everything is equal. White has one pawn in the center, but pieces are all out for both sides. Casting will happen. So this is the main line of Joko piano. Now, because everything becomes equal and white doesn't get any advantage, that is why after playing the Italian, the top players don't play d4. They play c3, but they don't play d4. I'll show you what they do. They play knight out. No, no, no. knight. Where will it come? Oh, that's true. Sir, so do they play d3 instead? Yeah, they do that. Let me show. So after. E4, no. E5. Shall we? Unnecessary talk is not needed. E4, E5. Knight F3. Knight C6. Bishop C5. This is the Italian. This much is mandatory. Now, Bishop C5, C3, Knight F6. If you play D4, it leads to a very forced line, which leads to equality. If black plays properly, so usually white players play D3. Just D3. And then later, after castling, after knight out, after rook e1, they play d4. After developing some pieces, that is a slow way of playing the Joko piano. So Joko piano basically means in Ita it's Italian. Joko piano is an Italian word. It basically means the quiet game. And this line is called Joko pianissimo. 
the quietest the pianissimo the quietest game what happened what happened you seem to be unhappy with it you want to change it is it so if you are hearing something new just learn it understand it there is no need to express your hatred towards the word joco pianissimo yes i am spanish italian or french it's italian yes Okay, okay, no, oh, it's just uh, the quiet. Yeah. Okay, so that much about the Joko piano and the Joko pianissimo. From here, we can continue according. It's a slow game. You can play Night Out, Castle, so, and so the Dirty. So, even people can play this move. Yeah, anyone can play. It's up to you. Yes. Slow. Anyone? Just stop people play. If you know the opening, walk by all means play. Right? Okay. Now coming back, there is one very important thing to understand so, so when you learn the yes. So what? I am telling you. No. You want to come inside my mouth and understand what I am saying? Wait, no. Okay. So after e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, the other common moves knight f6. A lot of people play it just like that. But if you are playing this, you have to also know how to deal with the fried liver attack. If you, one second, one second. Yes. Yeah. First time you are hearing. Even if you have heard ten times in your life, still it's. Fried liver. Fried liver. Yeah, yeah. Then don't play knight f6. Then that's why I am very scared. Then don't play knight f6. I never. Then how did you lose my fried liver? Just starting. Just starting. Huh? When I heard it. When I heard it. Okay. So, one second. Wait, 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 wait. Patient. Silence, Mihai. Huh? So the fried liver attacks happens with knight f5. It's very awkward for black to defend this, unless you know the opening properly. Yeah. So Not if you fight play knight f6, fried liver may happen. There is only one move that is good for black here. Are you? Sir, d5. D5. There's correct. also another move that is. Yeah, that will lead to complications. It will be a crazy game. It will. It will be good for white anyway. <laughs> so so what can you tell us? The other one is Traxler counter attack, but that's a complicated line. It's allowing knight takes pawn, but black will sacrifice a bishop and uh, it will lead to complications. First, you need to understand the main line. D5 is the only main move. Are you after pawn takes? What will you do for black? After pawn takes, huh. I will move the knight. When? You don't want to take back. He's yeah, just taking. Okay. So he's just taking out his own threat. What own threat? He gave a fight lever, but he's taking the knight. Taking the knight. Knight, knight pawn is attacking the knight. knight I'm a, he's saying bluff for black. Ahan, please it properly. Yes, are you? Sir, knight to e7. Knight to e7. Then you're a pawn down and I'll play d6. And then I'll, you know, I can't. Problem <laughs> then, then problems. So let's so, sir, go back. Sir, Rayansh. Sir, One second, Ashwin. Rayansh. Sir, bishop to e7. Then I take you knight now. You lose a piece. So, the knight's hanging. Ashwin. So knight to a5. Okay, so why do we not take back the pawn? So because you played. One second, one second. Anyone who wants to take the pawn? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to take this. Sir. What's the problem? Hmm. What's the problem? Sir, <laughs> you can take back, right? One second, patience. It's it's, a, it's just an exchange, right? You take I back. No, what's the problem? Yeah. Bishop takes queen takes. Sir, there is a problem. There is a problem. Sir, it's. Ashwik, patience. You know all the openings. Good. Let everyone understand it. No patience. So the problem is now. Why can play a surprise move, a shocking move? Knight takes f6. Yeah. And boom. Sacrifice. <laughs> Give Wait, up the pawn. Yes, the point being. Queen two cannot castle. So you're giving up a knight just to stop castling. That's okay. So giving up a piece to stop castling is not worth it. That's not why we're giving up a piece. So after king takes. Yes. It's open. Queen h3. I'll just play queen this. f3. Yeah, queen f3. Yeah. Attacking the knight. Normally they would play. Queen knight f5. So normally they would play king f5. One six. Ashvik, if you keep going ahead of what we are discussing, I'll have to not give you any chance at all. So you have to wait. We're discussing till here now, na? So let's stay here. So queen f3 attacks the king and the knight. That's the point. You're getting back a piece. If the king goes back, you can't move the knight. It's pinned. So they have to move their king, and then you take the piece back. 
So the piece you sacrifice, you'll get back. Unless if they play king e6, king e6, king e7, then we just so take the knight. Na? So king e6, defending the knight. Now you can't get your piece back, but you have a great position. This is winning for white. Even though you are a piece after, down. After yeah, you can put pressure on the knight. Knight c3. Sir, queen to h3. What is the use of simply giving a check? King goes back, then what? Give a check, that's it. Try to follow the logic here. You have a pin. You put pressure on it. So simply moving out to give a check won't help he your position. He more pressure on it. That's what he did sir. That's no sir, what actually that's more is good. Good no sir. Why? Because when they move the king, you can take the knight. Then you take back. So then the knight. Knight just came out. It, it was not there before. He's saying instead of knight c3, oh. play queen h3. That is bad. So you have to put more pressure. Follow the plan. The plan is pressure on the pin. Sir, so if he even moves the king to h3, sir, it's uh, removing the pressure on the pin. Yes, exactly. That's why we don't want to give that check. This position is good for white, winning for white. Because now, if black wants to defend, you can defend like this. Uh, but now you can just open everything up with d4. <laughs> so and this then, needs, yes, Sarah, what happened? Sir, if the king moves to g8, then we just take the piece and it checkmate, no? Sir, Instead of knight e7. Yeah. When they play knight e7, it's pretty much already over. Because no, you would be surprised. It's not over. So I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's say you're white, okay? I'll take black. I just played knight e7. What will you do next? Hmm. What do I play? And this was the position. I would play knight e7. Silence, please, please. Castle? You would castle, okay? Fair enough. I'll just play c6. Defending the knight. Right, d4 is good. So I need to defend the, the e pawn. So let's say I play. So you're playing the losing position. Once. You have to understand why is it losing. It's not losing just because you say it's losing. You have to show it to your opponent it's losing. So you have to understand how to play it. So to learn from how he plays it or how I play it. So let's say queen d6. Now look at this. Right, more pressure. Interesting. So why did you keep the pawn again? My king will be in an open line with nothing to help. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Let's say I play knight. I touch it. When I have touch me, sir. Knight g6. Bishop to f4. Okay. It's not risky. It's a good move. I can, my pawn is pinned. So I can't do so anything. It's slightly risky. How is it risky? Okay, I take it. My knight is pinned. Let's say I take it. Okay. Take it. Take it. Take the green. Okay. Hmm. It's an exchange. Yeah, it's an exchange. I move my pawn forward. Yes. And the pawn I on the e5 can take It's pinned, it's pinned. Okay. Pawn is pinned, here's a rook over here. Okay. Otherwise, I would have taken it in one second. <laughs> R, rook x e5. Okay. What to be my king? Remember, it's still a piece up for black. So if white does not kill black, black wins. Black's a piece up. If king survives all this, somehow, I think I'm going to survive this now. Mm -hmm. so okay. Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> king is in the center. Yeah, fine. If my king gets somewhere safe, like c7 and my bishops what? come out, I'm fine. Piece up. So he missed a chance, actually. Instead of instead of queen f7 check, you should have just taken the knight takes knight, pawn takes rook takes. You would have won the queen. 
and it's done. But yeah, this now is okay for me, I believe. So why did you use that? Why did you use that for this? It's like draw. <laughs> so why would it take? Draw is sure. I have a piece up. So why would it take the knight back? You have two pawns for the piece, but so I still. Instead of taking the knight again, just leave it. Then I lost the piece. Yes, He's so two then, pawns up. Then he could order that, sir. He's two points up. He's already two points up. So if I give back the piece, he's still winning, and my king is not safe. But yeah, that position would have won for you. But yeah, this is an example of how it can go wrong for white also if you don't finish him properly. Like he gave this check. That is where he lost the advantage, yeah. and now it became better for black. So also thinking of that. Yeah, <laughs> of course Ashwin thinks of all the right moves except when he's playing. Then it's <laughs> okay. Let's come back. So this is all very deep theory. But uh, you have to go deep in intermediate, yeah, sometimes. Deep. So can you tell us about the deep cross station counter? You can open an encyclopedia or go Google it, okay? If you want to know like big, big things about chess. If you want to learn simple chess, you can focus here. Don't show off here. There's no need of doing that. What? So what? I was just curious about what fluctuation? Fluctuation? What is the? What are you saying? What? What? What are you talking about? Cross station. I don't know what that is. So if you want to know that, so you can Google. So you said something when the file was starts. That is Traxler. oh, that is Traxler. Traxler. Oh. Traxler counter attack. That I told you already, na. No? That is a different line. First you understand this properly, then you learn that. So sir, this was the one that you finished from the Friday liver, right? Yeah, we were discussing the Friday liver. That's how we got here. Again, e4, e5, knight out, knight out, knight out. bishop c4 is mandatory. Now there are two good moves for black: bishop c5 and knight f6. If you play knight f6, you have to know how to defend against fried liver. So what you don't want? To play we, the we, yeah, or if you don't want to allow fried liver, play bishop c5, bishop and then knight f6. Yes. What if you play knight out and they don't play knight to g5? Huh? Then, then nothing. I mean, you play a normal game. You play a quiet game like d3, castle c3, d4. Same thing, like oh, Joker Piano. Yeah, yeah, but you have to be ready to face fried liver. Otherwise, you will be in trouble when you play knight f6. Yeah. So in knight f6, uh, one second. So after bishop c5, you know the theory, just c3 and all that. After knight f6, we didn't understand how to defend with black yet. I even played knight e7. No? So after knight g5, it's still okay for black. It's actually good for black. Just d5. After pawn takes, don't take back. Move the knight, but move to a5. Sir, not to a e7. Yeah, bishop check, c6 takes, takes. But this position is slightly better for black. I feel like slightly better. Yeah, now this knight is out of play. But so, so why would you play bishop? Bishop, I feel deja vu. If you don't play bishop, check, I'll just uh, take your pawn, pawn, take pawn. You have seen this already? Sir, I feel deja vu. Oh, without bishop check. So where is with the bishop? Sir, I feel deja vu. I'll just take back if you don't give a check with the knight. So I will move the bishop to my one. B. B three. Where was the bishop? Bishop was here, pawn was here, pawn was here, your pawn was here. This was the bishop. I played knight a5. What do you do for for white? Sir, like bishop two d. Then let's take back your pawn. Where is your advantage? You played knight g5 without any purpose. Then the whole point of this was to attack f7. So you have to at least be a pawn up out of this. So bishop b5, c6 takes, takes. Bishop goes somewhere. Now black is better because now you can kick the knight. To the ends of the world, knight f3, e4. Where will the knight go? Bye -bye. If you go here, it's trapped. G5. Ten. So that means only one square, which is the here. Is yeah. So now Sir. position is good for black. Sir, the knight was on g6. F6. Uh, f6. Uh, g6. There's no knight on g6. No b4. Knight was on g5. G5. Who's that? Sir, the white. Yeah, yeah. So that is why people play, allow the fried liver to get a good position with black. But yeah, so uh, we now know how to play the Italian. 